Good morning, people. <clears throat> Gonna be buffing today, scuffing and buffing. Yes, sir. I got my uh, tools out here. Got my uh, sandpaper over here. Got some 1500. When I buff and scuff and buff, I really like to use 1500 on the DA dry. I don't like the wet sand. I get a good finish with it. It's quick. It's easy. I just use 1500 on the DA. And then uh, on if that's a collision job, that's all it gets. And then I'll start my buffing process. If I want it to be really nice, I do 1500 on the DA. And then I'll use the 3000 on the DA. See if I have one. I thought I had one somewhere. Uh, I might have thrown them away. They're like a sponge. They're like a spongy DA pad. They're real thin. Like that, but it's kind of like a sponge. I'll put that on my DA with a uh, with an interface pad like this which is also really soft but I'll do my 1500 on the DA dry and then I'll get a squirt bottle with water and I squirt it all over the area and then I'll take my 3000 grit on my DA and I'll go over that really nice and when you're done the area almost has a, a sheen to it already it's, it's kinda shiny already so then when you buff it it, it takes barely any effort and you're getting a really nice shine um... but I don't have any of the DA pads for 1500 or 3000 and it's a white car so it should shine pretty easily I just got my 3M regular 1500 I'm going to be using that with over here to the handy dandy toolbox with the smaller DAR door block here not real hard not soft I'm going to be using that with my 1500 I'm going to put water in this container dunk it, sand, dunk it, you know how it goes but uh, I wanted to show you guys the buffing uh, system that I use it's an old system when I worked at the body shop uh, they were going to throw this away, and I said, why the fuck would you throw these away? It's a double-sided, nice thick waffle cone. These are 3M. Uh, they're nice. Got the wool one. I got all, all four. <clears throat> they were going to throw these pads away, and uh, this is just some old glaze uh, and uh, buffing combine I had laying around. This is the 3M's. Uh, number one uh, extra cut compound. I use this <clears throat> first. I'll use a wool pad if I gotta work out some orange peel or work a blend in or whatever. Usually I just start straight with this. After 1500, I start with this and this foam pad, and I'll hit it. The the white foam pads first. And then I'll go to <clears throat> this uh, perfected, this is an old one, 3000 uh, swirl mark remover. I'll use that uh, with the black pad. Yep, because the black pad's uh, second. And then I use the perfected number three uh, machine glaze for the blue pad. Alright? Now it's easy to tell with 3M what goes what because. The first cut compound is white. The first pad is white. Usually it's not blue if it's wool. So the bull pad's white or the white pad's white. Goes with the white compound. Then the second compound, let's see if I can get some out for you here. You see how it's a grayish? Gray? Dark gray, black whatever you want to call it, gray gray and then the blue pad you get some of the uh, the number three machine glaze I'll get some
smell here. What do you know? It's blue. Goes with the blue pad. Can't be any easier than that. Even even the new system is even easier. Because instead of saying swirl mark, blah, 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 it's one, two, three. It says it right on the container. One, two, three. And the color of the compound correlates with the color of the pad. White, gray, blue. And they work great. <clears throat> Okay guys, so, yeah, they got rid of this thing here at the body shop, and uh, I grabbed it real quick, what the shit, came with the uh, quick disconnect too, this screws on your buffer, and you just pull down on here and it's like a quick disconnect, like an air truck, and these pads snap right on, it's uh, really nice and handy actually, I like it better than the velcro pads I think, um, but, yeah, you gotta have a spur. You can clean your wool pads with it. You put it on the buffer and it spins it out. Uh, I've used them on the foam pads too. You just don't push real hard and it won't eat up your foam pads. <clears throat> but uh, I'm gonna fill my container up with water and I'm gonna start wet sanding. Yeah, buddy.